expert. Joining us now to discuss what's moving the markets is Melissa Armo, founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh. Melissa, always great to have you on here with us today. Stocks closing mixed here after that announcement that we mentioned, President Trump and Chinese officials announcing they have finally reached this phase one trade deal. Are you optimistic we'll actually get something signed in writing finally on paper in January? I hate to be a negative Nelly, but I would be surprised if something actually gets signed in January. Now, that being said, I'm not saying that we never sign a trade agreement with China, but I don't think it's going to be as soon as everyone expected. It could be, though. I mean, it, they keep talking about it. The markets continue to rally. So I have two takes on this, and I, I like to look at things based on odds, high odds versus low odds, okay? Okay. So right now, the market is rallying. It's been rallying continually more than I've seen it rally in a long time. We've made more brand new all-time highs in 2019 than we probably ever have. Uh, quite an anomaly for the market. So we've had a really strong year. And at this point now, with only a few trading days left, nothing's going to change that. Even if we fell every day from now until the last day of the year, we're not going to break the uptrend. The market looks very, very strong going into 2020, which is an election year. So oh, going yeah. into January, with all this optimism, if a deal gets done, the market's going to fly. But if a market does not, if, if a deal does not get done, the market is probably going to sell off in January, which is unusual, too, because in January of 2019, we started out the market very bullish, remember? How soon do you think that we need to see the closure of the phase two, phase 2A, two phase 2B, phase three, whatever, however many phases we're looking at from here on out, how soon do you think the markets are expecting a completed all-in trade deal? I don't think the markets care about having a deal inked. I think every time there's positive feedback that they're working towards a deal, even if that continued for another 12 months, I think the market will continue to hold well, we have a strong economy, and there's a lot of reasons the market's rallying. There's a lot of stocks in the market's rallying, and remember, the stock of the, the stock market, the SPY, the Dow, whatever you're looking at, is made up of stocks. And you have so many things that are hitting up on new highs. Microsoft, Apple, so many things look strong into the close of this year. Even Target, which is, which is typically uh, not, retail sector is not normally as strong as some of these other sectors, they're all hitting new highs. So when you look at the overall market and the strength, the market just doesn't want to hear that a deal is falling apart. If it's pushed off, I think the market's okay with that. But if Trump would put more tariffs on, which remember, we pushed the tariffs back from December 15th, which, is, which was Sunday. If we put more tariffs on, that's going to seem like that a deal might collapse and that would create a negative reaction in the market. As long as that doesn't occur, I think whether a deal gets signed in January or not, the market will continue to move forward. And based on earnings come first quarter 2020 and based on a lot of other economic data that comes out in 2020, we had another strong year. Uh, economic data was so good this year. I mean, you, you you look at the unemployment rate, you say, oh my gosh, how could things get any better? They could get better, of course, but it was a really good year. Melissa, where does timing play into all of this? Because President Trump has the power to move markets with a single tweet, whether it's optimism on the next phase of the trade deal or whatever it may be, especially as we get closer and closer to the 2020 election, are we going to see more pressure, more acceleration of our trade deal as we get closer to that date? Well, that's why I think January is critical, because if a deal doesn't get done, let's say let's say a deal does not get done when it's supposed to in January, the first quarter of 2020, then it's going to be running up into the summer period and into the busy period right up close to the election if it goes on too far past the spring. And then I have a feeling that China may wait it out to see if Trump doesn't get reelected or Trump may wait it out. Um, to see if he can get a better deal for the United States waiting after he gets reelected, if in fact he gets reelected, which I, I think, again, we're talking about odds. It's high odds right now at this point that Trump is going to get reelected, given the market backdrop, given the economic backdrop. I mean, it's just it's just really high odds that Trump's going to get reelected at this point. Melissa, you got your beautiful Christmas decorations behind you. I got to ask you, retail front, are you pleased with what we're seeing so far this holiday season? Is there a retailer, a big name that you're watching going into 2020? Target. Target is my favorite of all here right now. Walmart looked good a couple of weeks ago. It made new highs, but it's kind of fallen off here. And now Walmart is not at the highs and the market is. Target is at the highs. The market's at the highs. Target is strong, had good earnings, continues to move higher. 
I think the last time we were talking about it, I said 130. It's almost there. It got up to 129. And Target could actually have a move up to 130 between now and the end of the year. It's not that far away. It depends how the market acts going into next week or even by Friday by the close of this week. But I'll tell you, Target is, Target looks so good. And, and here's another reason why I like Target. Because... When you look at Amazon, okay, people are buying things online with Amazon. Target is trying to go really head to head with that. If, you, if you've ever bought anything online from Target, you get it like that. They're trying to really compete with Amazon and Target has the brick and mortar stores too. So if you like going shopping, you like going to Target, and I don't know if you've ever noticed this again, if you've ever gone in any Target stores, Target stores are so clean. Yeah. Target stores are like the cleanest stores I have right. ever seen of a retail store. They're cleaner than a grocery store, some Target. Yeah, and this holiday season, Toys R Us, to some extent, being resurrected, powered by Target as well. Just how important is the toys business going to be for Target this year especially? I think, I think toys, electronics, all of that is going to be good for Target. Again, people are feeling more optimistic this year. Their 401ks are running up. And even though that's not real money that people are cashing out of, people feel wealthier when they look at the retirement and they see that it's growing. So they're going to spend more than all these people. We don't have the numbers out yet, and we won't for a couple of weeks. But I'm telling you, I think this is going to be a big shopping season. It already was for Black Friday and Cyber Week. Those numbers came out. I mean, they were huge, astronomical numbers, big shopping. And again, that all helped boost stocks like Target. And we still got Super Saturday ahead of us as well, so perhaps that'll work in Target's favor. Melissa, always a pleasure to have you on. Thanks so much for Thank taking the time you. today. Thank you.